this is the dissection of the cockroach see here we can observe the fat bodies the fat body stores the excretory product before their elimination okay and in uc lomates the mesoderm comes into the contact with endoderm of elementary canal observe here look here friends this is referred as regional specialization as the development of stomach and gizzards this is called the primary induction okay friends have you understood about the advantages of the coelom over pseudo coelom okay and friends i prepared some assignment questions for you see here mention the animal note down question note down friends the questions mention the animals that exhibits a tube within a tube organization and the second one is why is the true coelom considered a secondary body cavity what are retroperitoneal organs what is enterocoelom name the enterocoelomate phyla in the animalia kingdom and friends the fifth one fifth question is mention the advantages of coelom over pseudo coelom friends and i prepare some of the important questions for the m set of m set examinations in the statement type of questions assertion kidneys are retroperitoneal organs we see friends kidneys are retroperitoneal organs reason kidneys are covered by parietal peritoneum on ventral side okay and the options may be like this option a both a and r are true or is correct explanation to the a option b both a and r are true but r is not correct explanation to a option c a is true or is false and option d r is correct a is false and the next question assertion the body cavity in round worms is pseudo coelom reason body cavity in nematodes is not lined by parietal and visceral peritoneum and the third one is those sponges have different types of cells they are functionally isolated reason sponges have no nerve cells and sensory cells and the fourth one structural complexity is more in platyhelminthes when compared to nidaria reason they have mesoderm in their embryonic development and friends i want to show a video for you see here how the enterocoelomates and schizocoelomates are develops see here firstly the coelom is forms this is called mesoderm and from from that the gut here you can observe the gut and here the splitting of coelom this space is called coelom and in deuterostomes the mesodermal blacks evaginate into the work, wall of arc interan and fused with one another to form the enterocoelomates okay friends now let us recall what we have learnt firstly see friends this entire the space is called the coelom in this coelom only visceral organs are developed okay there are two major cavities thoracic cavity and abdominal pelvic cavity in the thoracic cavity two major lung re respiratory organs are present those are called lungs and pumping organ heart is located in abdominal pelvic cavity kidneys small intestine stomach large intestine are located in the pelvic cavity male reproductive and female reproductive organs are located and friends if you seen in the dorsal side in the posterior region the cranial cavity and the vertebral cavity are present in the cranial cavity brain is located and in the vertebral cavity spinal cord is located this is about the coelom now you have a clear idea about the coelom see friends coelom means body cavity or spaces okay and based on the body cavity three types of coeloms are there acelomates pseudo coelomates and eucelomates acelomates means in this animals the body cavity is absent pseudo coelomate means body cavity is present okay but it is not lined by the mesoderm and eucelomates the true body cavity is present and it is also considered as secondary body cavity and friends the eucelomates are classified into two types we know that that 
schizocelomates and enterocelomates. Schizocelomates means splitting of mesoderm and enterocelomates means the mesoderm from the pouches that evaginate into the bulk of our archinteran and fuse with one another to form the enterocelomates. Okay. And friends, we learn advantages. See friends, this topic is mostly important for the MSET type of examinations. After my class, you prepare the answers for these questions and submit to your consult lecturer. Okay. And friends, these advantages, why we should learn these advantages? Because these advantages are more useful to us. Friends, okay, the time is we have. Let us discuss some M M set questions. See, in analytics, there are three types of analytics are there. In three classes are there, polyketa, oligoketa and hyridinaria. In the class polyketa, closed type of circulation is present and in the class oligoketa, closed type of circulation is present but only in the class hyridinaria, open type of circulation is present. It is exhibited by the leeches. And friends, we know that there are two layers, ectoderm and the endoderm in the diploblastic animals that are act as independent between the mesoglia. Okay? And friends, see, we know that lymphatic vessels, the lymphatic vessels has the open type of circulation because on the lymphatic vessels holes are present. Okay, friends, see friends, there are four levels of organization, cellular level, tissue level, organ level and organ system level of organization. We are the coordinates, we exhibit the organ system level of organization. Okay. Oh, okay, friends, I want to ask a question. In which animal the first time tissues are developed? Yeah, friends, Nidarians. In the Nidarians only, first time the tissues are developed due to the presence of sensory and nerve cells. The sensory structures are statocyst. Okay. Let us discuss about the protoplasmic level. Parazoans are the simple protist. All the basic functions such as excretion, circulation, digestion, locomotion is performed by the single cell. Single cell act as a complete organism in these animals. Within the cells, the protoplasm is differentiated into cell organelles. This is called the protoplasmic level of organization. Friends, first time in analytes only, the circulatory system is developed. Okay, these are the very most important M set questions. And let us discuss some of the important questions. Okay, see friends, hello, 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 <laughs> friend, good afternoon. Good afternoon, friend. What is your name, friend? This is Indusara from Madhubira. Ah, tell friend, what is your question? <laughs> tell me, friend. <laughs> tell me, friend, what is your question? Ask, friend. Can you give more examples for acelomates? What friend? Can you give more examples for acelomates? Acelomates friends? Acelomates. For example, platyhelminthes friends, these are the lowest level of organization. And see friends, you ask the more example for acelomates. Yes, they are tapeworms, platworms, etc. And silkworms, this are the example for the acelomates. Okay? Is your question is clarified, friend? And friends, 
C. Okay. Let us discuss these questions. Kidneys are retroperitoneal organs. Kidneys are covered by parietal peritoneum and the ventral side. This is the reason. Then what is the correct answer friend? Here we have four options. Which is the correct answer? See friend, the correct answer is the both assertion and reason are correct. Reason is the correct expression to the assertion. Yes, yes friends. See, we know that kidneys are retroperitoneal organs because the kidneys covers only on the ventral side by the parietal peritoneum. We observed in the real kidney also. Okay. And the next one is the body cavity in round worms is pseudocilum. The body cavity in nematodes is not lined by parietal and visceral peritoneum. Yeah friends, this is correct. Assertion and reason both are correct. Reason is the correct explanation to the assertion because, hello? Hello? Hello friend, good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon Maheshwari Saro. Ah, good afternoon friend, what is your doubt? This is Vidya Saro from Surya Pet. Ah, tell friend, what is your question? I would like to ask you a question that is during the evolution history of animals, um, what? there has been a tendency towards increasing in the body size. So, explain it. What? Friend, can you repeat your question? During the evol evolutionary history of animals, yeah. there has been a tendency towards increasing in the body size. Increasing in the? Explain why. Have you understood my question? No, friends. Can you repeat for me? During the evolutionary history of animals, yeah. there has been a tendency towards increasing in the body size. Body side? Mm. Body side. Yeah, friends. See, we know that the coelom develops first time in the acylomides. After the evolution, evolution means gradual decreasing or evolution means increasing. Friends, first time the coelom is formed in the platyhelminthes. After the gradual increasing, it develops in the pseudocelomates. In acylomates, the body cavity is absent, but in pseudocelomates, the body cavity is present, but it is not lined by the parietal peritoneum. And the next one is eucelomates. In these animals, the body cavity is present and it is considered as a secondary body cavity. Like this, they are developed. We also developed from the chimpanzees, monkeys, etc. Directly, we are not developed as a human being. Gradually increasing, we are developed. Okay. Your doubt is clarified, friend? Yeah. Friends, see some assignment questions. We already discussed that. I will give the answer for the questions. Mention the animals that exhibit a tube within a tube organization. The animals exhibit tube within tube organization are the nematodes and rotifers. Their body cavity is pseudocelom. Okay. And the second question is, why is the true coelom is considered as a secondary body cavity? During the embryonic development of blastocil, the true coelom is replaced by the mesoderm. So, they are called as the... Hello? Hello, friend? Hello? Hello, friend. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. What is your name, sir? This is Divya, sir, from Nadigura. Ah, tell me, friend, what is your question? What is the difference between acylomates and eucylomates? What is the difference between acylomates? Ask your question, friend. What is the difference? Eucylomate. What, friend? Yeah, friends. A very good question. In acylomates, the body cavity is absent. For example, platyhelminthes. In eucylomates, the body cavity is present that is called true coelom. It is considered as a secondary body cavity. It is the example difference between the acylomates and eucylomates. Okay. And friends, see the third question. Why are retro what are retroperitoneal organs? In our body, the kidneys are covered by 
only on the ventral side by the parietal peritoneum. So, the kidneys are called as retroperitoneal organs. Okay. And the next question is, what is enterocelum? Name the enterocelomate phyla in the animal kingdom. Enterocelum means in these animals, the body cavity formed from the mesodermal pouches that evaginate into the wall of orchinteran and fused with one another to form the enterocelomate. The phylums are echinoderms, chordates and hemichordates. And the next one is the mention the advantages of coelom over pseudocelom. We discussed that advantages of coelom. One is visceral organs are muscular and the gametes are releases into the coelomic fluid in some invertebrates which do not have gonodets. And the th third one is in non chordates the coelomic fluid stores the uric acid before their elimination. And the next one is in enterocelomates the endoderm comes into the contact with the elementary canal. This is referred as regional specialization as the development of gizzards and stomach. This is called primary induction. Okay, friends. Hello. 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 Good afternoon, friend. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Uh, what is your name, sir? What is difference between? Uh, what friend? What is difference between? What is difference between eukaryote and uh, eukaryote? Eukaryotic. Uh, and? What is difference between vertebrates and uh, invertebrates? Yeah, friend. Good question. Vertebrate means presence of notochord and invertebrates means absence of notochord. For example, we are the vertebrates. Due to the presence of we have notochord and platyhelminthes are the invertebrates. They do not have notochord. Okay, friends, is your doubt is clarified? I think not. Okay. And friends, I gave some questions for you and I, before me, and I want to tell friends, there is another cavity in our body. What is that cavity? Oral cavity friends, in the oral cavity only, tongue and teeth are located, okay? Friends, I am very thankful to our secretary sir for giving me this opportunity to, to, to give a lecture in Mana TV. And I am very thankful to my principal and my zoology lecturers and my CY staffs to encourage me. Thank you friends. Bye. And let us meet in next class. Bye friends. <laughs>